Welcome to an example of interpreting a rooted tree. To begin, we need to designate a root. We will designate the vertex F as the root, this vertex here. Notice if F is the root, then the vertices E, H, and I, these three vertices, are children of F and are siblings of each other. The three vertices are siblings of F because notice all three vertices are adjacent to F. And any vertex that is adjacent to the root is going to be a child of the root, and the root will be the parent. And because they all share the same parent, E, H, and I are also siblings. Among other things, we can say that A is a child of C and a descendant of F. So notice vertices A and C are adjacent, and since C is closer to F, C is the parent of A, and A is the child of C. If we take the path from A back to the root, notice how it includes F or ends at F, which is the root, and therefore we can say that A is a descendant of F, as well as F is an ancestor of A. Next, the vertex G is a descendant of F. In fact, it is a grandchild of F. So here we have vertex G and vertex F. If we draw the path back to the root F, because the path includes F or ends at F, the root, G is a descendant of F, and F is an ancestor of G. And notice that G is the child of the child of F, which indicates G is the grandchild of F. Vertices G and D are siblings, since they have the common parent E. So notice vertices G and D have the same parent E, which indicates they are siblings, and E is the parent. Now what we'll do is change the root and see how it changes the relationships. We will now make A the root, this vertex here. And notice when A is the root, the lone child of A is C, the only adjacent vertex, which also has only one child, namely E. Notice C and E are adjacent. Since C is closer to the root, C is the parent, and E is the child. We would have that F is the child of E, instead of the other way around, when F was the root, and F is the descendant of A, instead of the ancestor. So vertex F is here, and vertex E is here. The two vertices are adjacent. Now, E is closer to the root than F, which indicates E is the parent of F, and F is the child of E. And if we take the path from F back to the root, it includes the vertex A, the root, which indicates F is a descendant of A, and A is an ancestor of F. It was the other way around when F was the root. And then finally, F and G are now siblings. Notice F and G share the same parent of E. There are a lot more relationships we could have stated when analyzing the rooted trees, but I hope you found this helpful.